Oh, yeah, you're right. With this heat in the low country, you may try going to the beach or to the pool to cool down. However, there are different ways to combat the heat. I went out into the community today to see what others are doing to deal with these hot temperatures. Don't ignore the signs of heat exhaustion because this can be pretty deadly. With temperatures reaching the low to mid 90s and heat index values up to 110 for the holiday, throughout the low country, neighbors are figuring out ways to stay cool with everyday activities. If you're walking the bridge, make sure that you have your water. You saw, I mean, I've always got water. I've always got a backpack with some water. I like to wear the hat because uh, I'm a little shy on hair up here. And uh, I just love walking, so the heat's not going to stop me. Or if you're out playing a sport, pickleball, soccer, or even tennis, make sure that you're taking breaks. Lots of cold water on your neck. you got to get that central nervous system cooling down. So it's crucial to take breaks, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. And if you want to be out on the water, you still need to be prepared for the heat. I spoke with Nature Adventures on Shim Creek to see what they do to fight the heat even out on the water. We always, always insist that people have water, sunscreen, hat, comfortable clothes that can get wet. You lose moisture so fast that you really have to keep drinking. And if you're working in this heat, it's important to stay hydrated with not only just water, but drinks with electrolytes in them. Gardening Services by Murray is a family business that has been in Charleston for over 10 years. Murray says he has dealt with this kind of heat for years, and it's crucial for anyone working outside to rest and find air conditioning. Our aid, we got uh, alkaline water, we got regular water, and uh, take frequent breaks. And after a long day of working, my personal favorite way to cool off is with a cold dessert like a snow cone. Well, ice, I'm sure as you know, cools you off. Uh, it's a great, tasty way to uh, cool off whether you're coming from the beach or you're just out and about doing shopping. Um, it's definitely not the worst way to go to help beat the heat. Overall, everyone is figuring out ways to stay cool during this holiday heat. And through the holiday, whether you're at the beach, pool, or just enjoying time with family, make sure to stay hydrated.